Hey everyone, uh, wanted to show a quick video to show you some of the new stuff on uh, the bookkeeper. So um, this is shipping in version .12 of Core Lightning. It's a built-in bookkeeper. Um, you can see the uh, new commands. I do list help, and then grep for just the ones that start with BKR, BKPR, short for bookkeeper. Um, you can see all the new commands that bookkeeper adds to your Core Lightning node. Uh, if you want to see like where the um, plugins are, you can do plugin list, um, and then the bookkeeper will be in here. You can see that it's up and running here. Here it is. So kind of a built-in, uh, new built-in plugin that ships with the app. Cool. So let's take a look at some of these, um, some of these new commands. Uh, I think the first one to start with is probably list balances. This will just give you a good overview of, oh no, <laughs> list balances, oh I see, I uh, gotta do lightning, CLI, bookkeeper, list balances. Um, so this will show you um, all of the channels that I've got currently and the amount of millisats that are currently in each channel on my side, um, you know, how much I've got on chain, point types, um, whether the account is closed or not, which is cool. Um, so I got a bunch of channels in here, so that's pretty nice. Um, let's see if we can find one that is closed. Is that closed? No, it was not closed. Uh, let's see. Cool. Okay, so that lists all your channels and all your balances. So this is a good snapshot. So as the money moves around, these balances will update over time. So if you wanted to keep track of your balances, etc., cetera, um, this would be a good place to kind of do that. Um, let's see, uh, another cool thing to see is you can dump every account event that's happened on your entire node. So I can do lightning, CLI, uh, list account events. So uh, as you see, this is quite a bit of data. Uh, this is all of the money that I'm routing through my channels. Um, yeah, so this is every completed payment will get, will show up here. If you transfer money to an account, if you pay on chain fees, uh, everything here, like this is the movement of the money between all these different channels. Um, so this has all the data about what money is moving between which channels, etc. Um, you can also, if I go back to list balances and just kind of grab one of these, you can filter it. Oh, this one's closed. No, it has no money on my side of the channel. Um, let's pick one that I don't have some money on my side of the channel, so like this one, so I can filter list account events by an account name, and it'll just print out the events for that account. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is just, uh, as you can see, like the bookkeeper just kind of dumps a lot of data, uh, which is nice. I think there's some real opportunity for people to build some new book, new dashboards and stuff on top of it. Um, something that's actually kind of nicer than uh, after you have list account events, what you really want though, so list account events is kind of like a, um, just like everything, it's like all this data of where the money is moving. Um, List income, however, takes all that data that we've got for the listed account events and only pulls out the relevant amount of data in terms of like, uh, like for example, if you route, um, if you route a payment through a channel, uh, you earn some fees for it. This is how much it's moving, and this is how much you're earning in fees. Um, list income will print this event, but it'll only print it as you've earned this much in fees. So, income kind of. Um, Right, so here you can see that kind of same event, except it's just showing that you credited yourself the fees that you earn by doing the routing. So um, list in income events is a way of like just showing how you've earned or spent. It's a list of all the events that either earned you money or where you spent money um, on your node. So my node's been doing a decent amount of routing. You can see all these mill satoshis. So this is basically one sat. Here I've earned eight sats almost uh, routing payments. Um, trying to see if there's any like on-chain things. There's some journal entries for like that. These those happen at setup. Um, but if I like, close the channel and have on-chain fees, then I would have a debit that I had spent money on. So um, you can also get this same data printed out as a. Um, if I go back up and look at these, you can also uh, print out the same data as a CSV. Uh, which is really nice. So I print out the Lightning CLI dump income CSV, um, except you need a format. So we offer, I think if I go to help, 
I can see what the options are. Let's print out what our format for these are. Um, return value for options. Um, we can either have Coin Tracker, Coinly, Harmony, or QuickBooks. The QuickBooks one isn't really that useful. It doesn't. I wouldn't print that one out. But Coin Tracker, Coinly, and Harmony are all pretty good. Um, I'm gonna print Coinly out because I think that contains the most interesting info. So I'm gonna print this out as. Um, I'm gonna print it out as Coinly. Uh, so this is just going to dump it to a CSV on file, so it tells me where it posted it. Um, you can also pass in a uh, you can pass in a, a name for it. I'll just say coinly dot CSV here, um, so it prints it out. Ooh. No, just kidding. It puts it into my uh, Lightning directory, which is Lightning Bitcoin. Um, so this coinly dot CSV is new, so this one got here. Um, so I can go ahead and open this up and it's all the data about everything my node's done formatted in a way where Coinly will let me update this, upload it to their, um, to their API, so to speak. Now I wanted to show you how we go through like Coinly, um, uploading the Coinly thing. So I'm gonna sign into a little test account that I have here. I've got some dummy data in here. Um, I downloaded a Coinly thing, so I'm going to upload a, I'm going to add a transaction, uh, how do I do this, wallets, um, I can add a wallet or exchange, so I'm going to CSV, um, create custom CSV wallet, so I would say this is my lightning node for whatever reason, and import from a file, uh, so I can go ahead and pull off the Coinly stuff that I have. Um, I'm going to import it. Hopefully, this just works. Cool. So, I imported it, had 168 transactions, and I can now all of my um, all of my stuff once I exit this. Uh, now my Lightning node data is all imported and I can go to my dashboard and see all of the um, transactions that my Lightning node has done. Um, and so all my little routed things show up as some very small amount of Bitcoin, like miniature cents and stuff, but they're all, they're all in here now. Uh, so every little routed payment um, shows up in my Coinly. Uh, if I have anything where you pay out or you receive an invoice, it should show up in here too, uh, which is pretty cool. So this is kind of a quick way to get a nice little UI on all the data uh, that the bookkeeper now exposes. Cool. If we look at help, uh, the last, there's two more things in here. Um, the last thing we should do is look at so the last thing that inspect is good. So in fact, inspect is basically a way of looking at inspecting on-chain UTXOs for an account. Um, so if I go back and I list my balances, list balances, um, and I pick an account like this one, um, I can say Lightning CLI Bookkeeper inspect this account. It should just show me the transaction that opened this account because it hasn't been opened yet. So it's open and this is the value that it opened for. Um, I think that someone else the other side opened this because I don't have any credit whenever it opened. Um, they're just an output value of how much they put into it, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, let me see if I can find really quickly one where the, um, the closed is true. Uh, so I know the lightning CLI and Bookkeeper inspect close of this channel, um, and this is cool. So the, here you can see this is a channel transaction ID that opened it. This is a channel that it opened. This is how much it opened with. We opened it, so all the money was on our side to start. Um, then you can see that it was closed, and this is a transaction that it closed. That closed the, the thing, and this is our kind of final balance that we closed it out with. So um, it'll print every transaction that it knows about for this channel for this account. So we can, the spending transaction ID, we can go find this next item in here. Uh, this is the next, this is the transaction that closed this channel. Um, tells you what block height it was, how much 
that fees were paid and inset. Um, I think this is a little broken for reasons. Um, you can see that the external, so one of the outputs on this transaction went to the other party, to our peer. Um, and this is how much millisats that they got when it closed. Um, it tells you which channel that this came from. So this is the channel that this output to the peer went to and it was in this transaction. And then you can also see uh, money going back to our wallet. So we deposited this much in funds back to our wallet in this transaction. Um, and I think that it looks like that has already, this output has basically already been spent into a new transaction, which you can go look up. And so we already spent this. Um, so when this channel closed, we created a new output in our wallet, which it looks like has already been spent into another TXID, uh, which we could go look up on chain or look for in our wallet to see what other channel spent that. Um, cool, okay, so that's this part. Uh, the final, uh, final, um, final other uh, bookkeeper command that's pretty cool is a channels APY one. And you can bound it kind of by start and end time, so it'll only give you the APY over that time. Uh, but one cool thing about this is that it will show you uh, every single, for every channel that you have, um, so we call the channels kind of accounts here, um, how much you've routed out, how much you've routed in. Um, if you did a liquidity ad and bought or sold a lease for this channel, it'll tell you how much you paid or earned for that channel. Um, or if you've ended up using a, a V1 channel and pushed some MSATs, it'll show up here as well. Um, so what our starting balance was, kind of what the channel started with, uh, fees that we've earned by routing things out, fees that we've earned by routing things in. This utilization number is kind of the um, amount of sats that were in the channel and how much they've been pushed like out or back in. So this has been actually pretty actively used. It's been 60% of the total channel balance has been pushed out and 80% of it has been pushed back in. Um, it's got an initial thing. And then this tells you kind of the APY of you've earned on, or that has been earned. You only earn stuff on pushed out, I think. So the amount you've earned in routing fees over the total amount that was committed to the, the balance at start, um, it kind of gives you some numbers on that. So the total APY that you've earned, uh, pretty low, but that's cool. Um, and then this is like net, so this is for my entire channel, for all the nodes, so then we kind of round up this account. The last, last entry in this is gonna be for all the money you've routed since bookkeeper, I started running the bookkeeper, all the money I've paid to these channels, all the money I have earned in liquidity ads, so to speak, over the same lifetime. I think I've earned, what, 3,000 sats? That's pretty cool. I've paid 23,000 sats to lease stuff. Um, so that's kind of fun to see it out. I pushed some money out, uh, pushed out some MSATs, starting balances, channel start balances, um, percentage that we've I've pushed out and in. Um, and just some like little return on that. It's not huge, but uh, maybe your numbers are better. Uh, and this lets you look at it. Um, you have one printed out for every single channel. And this uses all that data from list account events and just does like a roll up over it and does some pretty simple calculations on the data to give you some APYs, etc. Cool, okay, great. Uh, I think that's everything for the bookkeeper um, to print out all the the things again. So we show we walk through um, how to list our balances and all of our current snapshot and all our channels. We learned how to look at all the account events for the whole node plus for any one account. Uh, we talked about how that's a little bit different from list income and how you can dump the income events to a CSV that's formatted such that you can upload it to Coinly or Coin Tracker. Note that you can also filter these by like a start and end time. This is in like a timestamp by UTC. Um, so that you can kind of like pull a new report every month or whatever um, and don't get duplicate data. Uh, we learn how to inspect a channel and see its on-chain footprint or an account as we're calling them in the bookkeeper. And then we finally looked at the channel's APY, um, which shows you kind of some return total roll-up data using all the data from list account events uh, that lets you see um, kind of some return that you're earning on the capital that you deployed to your Lightning node.